aerial applications are vital to support not only Michigan agriculture, but things such as protecting the forests. And they can access areas that traditional equipment can't get to. In the spring, when they're spraying for spongy moth, or they could be making mosquito applications, you know, they might be going into areas that are wetlands that you're not gonna get a tractor or a traditional sprayer in. So we have staff from the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, mostly from our pesticide section. We also have the pilots, uh, who are all members of the Michigan Aerial Applicators Association and also the national group. And we also have uh, the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, here as well. So it's a nice collaboration. The purpose of, the, of this event is to make sure that when the applicators are out flying their planes, making applications, that their spray is gonna be in a uniform pattern and not going off target where it could be affecting people or their homes or their livestock. It just gives us an opportunity to interact with them. We do aircraft inspections, again, to make sure that when they are up in the air, that they aren't gonna have any issues with a hose breaking that could possibly have pesticides, again, hit an area that is not intended for that, for that to go. Pilot will bring his aircraft in and they have uh, a boom, which is basically a big large tube that has nozzles on it. And that's where the pesticide comes out when they're, when they're spraying a crop. And we have a trailer that we put those on and then we run water through that system and we check the nozzles to make sure they're spraying what they intend to spray out, that it's not spraying more, it's not spraying less. And then they fly over a set of cards, the droplets from uh, their spray hits the cards and we can run them through a computer and that will tell us if their spray pattern is even or if it's not even, if maybe some of the nozzles weren't working uh, because some of the cards may not have spray droplets on them. And then we're able to analyze those and give that feedback to the pilot so maybe they make some adjustments. Because they have to make such large circles to get down to the field, they sometimes have to fly over people's houses or the road, but when they're making those passes, that's just getting them in line for when they're actually spraying. And I think most people think that when they're going over the house that the booms might be on, when in fact they are not. Uh, but they're again, just trying to get that angle so they can uh, get that spray ready for, for that field. If it's six o'clock in the morning, and I hear a plane above my house, that would be concerning to me. So we absolutely understand the public's concern um, and the pilots are very concerned about that as well. A lot of times, you know, since we're regulatory, we may only talk to people when something has gone wrong, right? So this is an opportunity for us to work together in a positive way and it's, it's just a win for, for everyone.